So this third episode, based on the draft national curriculum framework, which is um, still under review in process, is bringing us the whole idea about what is the draft saying about traditional Indian values and traditional Indian knowledge that really needs to be respected when we are dealing with our students in our classes. So there are two episodes on this. This is the, this is the third episode of the series on National Curriculum Framework. But the fourth one will also talk about the same thing. How do you make connections with ancient Indian traditions? Therefore, do like and do subscribe to our channel and please share forward. So we begin with the foundation literacy and numeracy as is articulated in the NCR. Now we've done a lot of this work with examples in episode 1 and episode 2 on the foundational stage of the national curriculum framework which is final. And do refer to that for more ideas and how do we transact this in the class. However, since we are talking about the ancient knowledge and ancient Indian traditions as articulated in the National Curriculum Framework, we have to begin at the beginning with Tamil and with the great poet Sant Thiruvallavar. And he says, and this is in Tamil and quoting directly from the NCF, he says, Ivarandam, Kannambam, Varum, Uiruku. The framework is saying that we must try and learn all languages. And this is an attempt from my side to learn Tamil just for this. So it's a beautiful, beautiful statement that he made. This translation which you see on the slide is of course given in the NCF where it's mentioned that our two eyes are windows through which we understand the world through, its, through numbers, we understand the complexities of the world and through language, we understand its beauty. And therefore, we begin with this and even so many years later, we cannot dis dismiss this idea about first looking at language and numbers. India has more than 19,500 languages and dialects and the, the, right from NEP, we've been saying that we need to respect all of these, even in the English medium schools. So there is some recommendations and we're talking about stories and language here. We've dealt with literacy in the earlier episodes. So a couple of stories that we are recommending just to keep in with the tradition that India has. And we've all really gone through this in our childhood, in our marvelous country. Are of course the Panchatantra tales that we are familiar with. The Hitopadesh as well as the Jataka tales. And Vikram and Metal ko kaun nahi janta bhai. Humne kitne to uske serials bhi dekhe hoon hai aur wo chupak jata tha hai. So all of these have been mentioned in the NCF and many others to carry forward the tradition of our beautiful legacy of our country. We've talked about the Panchakosha Vikas in the earlier two episodes. However, here I'm connecting it with the five domains of education. Andamaya Kosha, which is physical health, good nutrition and they're connecting that with physical development. Pranamaya Kosha, which is which is actually a sheath, a life force sheath that we can give, which is linked to cultural and social development as articulated in the earlier two episodes presented by Shikshakra. Do like and subscribe to our channel. The third one is Manomaya Kosha. That means a mental sheath, which is emotional development, as again mentioned as one of the domains in the NCR. It follows through then that there has to be Vijnanamaya Kosha, which is a wisdom sheath, that is cognitive development. Now, as we are aware, in the five domains, uh, they mentioned cognitive development separately, which they take science and math, and there is also language and literacy development. But both of these squarely fit into Vigyanamaya Kosha. And finally, it is Anandamaya Kosha, which is the bliss of the body. But these are the bunch of Koshas which are mentioned in the National Curriculum Framework, especially for early childhood education section. Do look at that. Let us look at some of the rootedness that they are talking about where science is concerned. So basically, they are taking us back to systems that have already been very well researched and mentioned in various texts that we have in our country. And they point to astrology, astronomy, the lunar calendar, which actually governs our body. Ayurveda, we Ayurveda ki taraf to rahe hai. And therefore, this daily rhythm, which is so beautiful from dawn to dusk and night, where they give all the 
कफ पित्त मात एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट और आप देखेंगे कि हमारे स्कूल के टाइम टेबल्स में हम इसका काफी उपयोग करते हैं सो दिस इज आल्सो बीन मेंशन दैट लुक एट दैट एंड पॉइंट इट आउट टू द चिल्ड्रन बेसिकली इट इज अबाउट पॉइंटिंग आउट दीस मार्वेलस आइडियाज दैट वर ऑलरेडी रिसर्च इन आवर कंट्री टू आवर जेनरेट नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सो दैट सारा मोड़ाव पाश्चात्य पाश्चात्य संस्कृति की तरफ की तरफ ही सिर्फ ना हो ये एक कल्पना है वहां तो है ही वो तो हमें सीखना ही है वहां से रिसर्च तो आ ही रहे हैं बट हमारी भी तो अपनी एक धरोहर है और हम उसे क्यों भूले जा रहे हैं एंड दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द एन सी एफ एज आर्टिकुलेटेड इन हाउ टू बी कनेक्ट टू द रूटेडनेस ऑफ आवर ओन कंट्री दे मैंशन दिग सनजाइल जंतर मंतर में आज भी उपलब्ध है देख सकते हैं विच कैलकुलेट सो मेनी थिंग्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम द टाइम एंड द हॉरोस्कोप एंड एस्ट्रोलॉजी आप माने या ना माने विश्वास हो ना हो वो बात अलग है but the 12 houses of our own horoscopes as governed by the lunar calendar are mathematical numbers they calculate your uh, various various pitwat kaf doshas and various other things based on aapka janam kahan hua so the latitude and longitude of that place and the placing of these nine planets in these 12 graha ye bhi wahan pe mention kiya hua hai the science is concerned There's a beautiful, beautiful mention to something called Yantra Ruda. अब ये शब्द मैंने भी पहली बार देखा इसी तरह से एन सी एफ में आ रहा है सो वेन आई लुक इट इज अ लिटल बिट मोर वॉट इट एक्चुअली मीन्स इज जिसको हम पंचक्की कहते थे बचपन में जो आज भी बहुत से खेतों में दिखती है सो दिस इज अंत्र रुडा दैट दे टॉक अबाउट बट ब्यूटिफुल थिंग दैट इज मैं ह्यूमन ट्रेडिशन ऑफ मैन डिपेंडेंसी ऑन नेचर उसको बेस ऑफ द सेम रिवर कहा हुआ है विच इज देर इज ए ब्यूटिफुल इंटरचेंज बिटवीन द एनवायरमेंट एंड द ह्यूमन एक्सिस्टेंस विच मीन्स दैट द कॉन्स्टेंट एफर्ट ऑफ ह्यूम मस्ट बी टू प्रिजर्व द एनवायरमेंट एंड जब आप नेचर की क्या संरक्षण करते हैं तो नेचर भी आपका संरक्षण करेगा भी ये एक साइक् प्रोसेस वहां पर मैंशन है दिस एक्चुअली मैप्स वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल टू दिस आइडिया ऑफ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट दैट वी टॉक अबाउट इसको आगे ले जाता है एन सी एफ इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से जोड़ देता है एंड देखो हमारा संविधान जो है इवन इन दैट वी हैव रिटन देर इट इज रिटन दैट वी इट इज वन ऑफ अ फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज टू प्रिजर्व टू इम्प्रूव द नेचुरल एनवायरमेंट टू प्रिजर्व आर फॉरेस्ट लेक्स रिवर्स इन द वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो मैंशन देर वॉट इज सेट इन आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कनेक्टिंग इट टू सस्टेनेबल लिविंग एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ आर एनवायरमेंट let us move forward and you will find that in the preparatory middle and secondary stages they keep connecting our ancient knowledge even to mathematics and who does not know about our contribution of our great luminaries mathematicians to the world of maths in india abhi you know the, the confusion kuch nahi hai but i think that the only thing that the ncf is really trying to point out is ki isko bhuliye mat point it out to the children that how were the concepts actually evolved over different civilizations in the world as well as in india humne bhi bahut kuch yahan pe kiya hai that is what they want us to point out so they start from baudhayana 800 bc and unke bare mein sarva sutra ki baat ki hai very quickly we will go through this slide because it does mention the pythagoras theorem there that parini in the 6th century and unka actually kaam language pe hai but today his work is being used in the programming of computer languages आर्यभट्ट इनके बारे में बहुत सुनते हैं हम बट वी ओनली नो अरे जीरो दिया मेरे भारत ने बट देर आर लॉर ऑफ अदर थिंग्स दैट ही एक्चुअली डिड इंक्लूडिंग द अर्थ रोटेशन रेवल्यूशन जीरो ट्रिग्नोमेट्री एंड सो ऑन दे ऑल्सो मैंशन भास्कर टू नॉट भास्कर वन वो कन्फ्यूजन नहीं होना चाहिए एंड मैंने भी इसके बारे में जब पढ़ा सो आई वॉज मैं तो मंत्र मुग्ध रह गई यू नो आई वॉज लुकिंग एट ओ माई गॉड आई विश वी हैव बीन टोल्ड ऑल दिस वेन वी वर इन स्कूल एज चिल्ड्रन टू वी नी वर लिटल बेट but now we know a lot more because of this marvelous document which has come to us the ncf right so unki arithmetic ke treatises is called leelavati his algebra text is called bijganit trigonometry is called siddhant shiromani and graha ganit is about the rotation and revolution of planets and then finally of course ayangar shri srinivas ramanujam ayangar abhi abhi 1920 tak the he is also popularly known in the world of mathematics like the man who knew infinity इनके ऊपर कई किताबें भी लिखी हैं एंड कई मूवीज भी बनी हैं। देर इज अ होल लिस्ट ऑफ मूवीज एंड होल लिस्ट ऑफ थिएटर एंड बुक्स ही स्टार्टेड इज एन इंडियन क्लर्क 
and where did he go? So they've also mentioned the contribution of Ramanujan in the NCF. And here is something for you, even though this is a video on YouTube, why not try? This question actually came up in KBC once that there was, a, there was another mathematician called Hardy and he went to meet Raman. A Hardy Ramanujam number is famous. If you have any questions, please tell me what is What is known as a taxi cab number? And you can even put it in the comment section of this video if you know the answer and I'd love to interact with you really. The answer was 1729 and 1. So the story goes that Hardy, uh, Aravanujam was very ill, he was hospitalized. Or Hari Unse Milne Gaite and Bohati Unka Snehata Ramanujam. So he was a little worried that what if my friend doesn't survive? And he said, you know what, I came through this taxi. And number was 1729. I think it's a very, very unlucky number. And Ramanujam said, Nay, nay, it's a very interesting number. It is the smallest number which can be expressed as a sum of two cube in two different ways. Up with Kajama 1729, how was it done? In these two ways. And this generalization came to be named as taxi cab number. But taxi ke number nahi. Is numbers hote which can be interpreted like this in two different ways, are known as taxi cab numbers in mathematics. NCF kehti hai ki bachcho ko ye bataiye ki ye contribution hum logo ke great mathematicians ke rahe. Thank you so much for watching this episode. In the next episode, of which is the fourth one on NCF, we will be bringing you more examples of what the NCF is saying about remaining rooted to our culture and our traditions in this land. That's all. Why forget it? Respect it. Do like and subscribe to our channel if you like the way we present content. Thank you for watching.